uh, implement na po yung no vaccination, no fly policy. Mm-hmm. So, narami nakikinig, marami silang agam-agam na kung ano po yung ibig sabihin nito. Alright, yan ang general rule. Pero, may mga exceptions. Yo. Kung ang pasahero can show proof na meron siyang kondisyon that mm-hmm. prevents him or her from being vaccinated. Yeah. Di ba? May mga iba, may mga mm. medical conditions that mm. uh, prevent them from uh, getting vaccinated. Then, as long as they will show a medical certificate, basta magpakita po sila ng medical certificate galing sa isang medical doctor, then they will be exempted. Mm-hmm. Uh, meron rin po tayong uh, advisory guiding them on what to do. Mm-hmm. So, yun po. So, bali, uh, yung point, sa point of sales yung magaganap yan, ano? Bago nyo issuean ng ticket, kinakailangan yan, makapagpakita na sila ng vaccination card. That's correct, Ricky. Okay. Uh, sa point of sale, for brand new bookings. Mm-hmm. Pero marami tayong uh, mga pasahero na meron na silang ticket, no? So, napakahalaga na uh, PAL will reach out to them. Kaya mm-hmm. yung Philippine Airlines team sa reservations, they are uh, entertaining questions. And of course, through our Uh, official Facebook portal, our website, ina-anunsyo na po mm-hmm. yung uh, implementation starting Monday ng no vaccination, no fly policy, only for domestic travel. Yun. So domestic yan, yung international. <coughs> ano? Yung international, so Ricky, oh, for oh. international, for international, uh, pareho pa rin, we, we maintain the status quo. Ah, so, no. parang hindi malito ang flying public. So, for domestic, the general rule is you must be fully vaccinated. Yun. Pagdating sa international, we go by the status quo. It's a carry over from last year. Yung, yung, Whether you are vaccinated or not, mm-hmm. uh, you can travel for as long as you conform to the requirements of unvaccinated travelers and vaccinated travelers. Okay. Depende po yan sa regulation ng foreign point of arrival. Mm-hmm. So, i-check mo uh, yung bansa, di ba? Mm-hmm. Kung nag accept sila ng unvaccinated. At yeah. kung nag accept sila ng unvaccinated, normally, nagre-require ng negative oh, RT-PCR mm-hmm. test plus all other documents yeah. plus proof of vaccination. Mm-hmm. Okay. Pag, pag walang vaccination, RT-PCR test, And then kapag vaccinated ka naman, maaring walang RT-PCR test but proof of vaccination. So talagang meron kang uh, checking capability, hindi ba? You should really mm-hmm. check. Mm-hmm. Now, pagdating naman sa United States, they only accept uh, fully vaccinated okay, then, travelers, hindi ba? Mm-hmm. So uh, you also have to read the rules and regulations. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sa sandali, mm-hmm. linawin lang natin yung fully vaccinated, yun yung may dalawang dose na natanggap, hindi kasama yung booster. Yes, hindi kasama yung booster. Basta mm. uh, parang yung booster that is an added plus. Mm. no? So, tinitingnan talaga yung mother vaccine. Yun. For for certain brands like, let's say, uh, Pfizer, Moderna, Sinofa- mm. Sinovac, mm. Sinopharm, like for uh, AstraZeneca, you will be uh, vaccinated. Meron kang first dose, meron kang second dose. Yun. You're considered fully vaccinated two weeks after the second dose. Yun. Now, for single-dose vaccines like... Uh, Janssen, Janssen, di ba? Janssen, vaccine. Oh, oh. So, that single dose, uh, and then you wait for two weeks, you're gonna be considered fully vaccinated Ayon. after the two-week period. Uh, so, depende po sa vaccine na, na, uh, na kinuha nyo. I hope you can help me yeah. uh, articulate that through your listeners that mm. you no vax, mm. no right, no fly policy uh, will be implemented for the domestic sector starting Monday at habang nasa alert level 3 ang NCR. Yun. Pero pag binaba sa alert level 2, this is scrap ito. So, titinan po natin how the uh, situation unfolds in the mm-hmm. coming weeks. So, Manchero, hindi na po. Kasi before, di ba nag-travel ako dun sa CDO, meron, pumupunta pa kami dun sa website ng LGU. At nag, uh, nagsisecure pa kami ng parang um, permit sa kanila. Yeah, Sila ngayon yung S-Pass na tinatawag. Okay, parang S-Pass. Hindi na po kailangan yun ngayon. Magandang tanong yan. Okay, so ulitin ko, for domestic travel, ang number one requirement is your proof of vaccination, vaccination. which is the vaccine, the vaccine card. card. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. On top of that, plus the requirements of your destination of arrival. Mm-hmm. Yeah, malinaw, kanina, uh, okay. So, uh, yun yung plus 
plus the requirements of the destination of arrival. O oh, uulitin ko po, it mm. covers all ages except uh, 0 to 11 years old mm. and uh, that, that is the requirement. Mm. But for those ages 12 and above, for as long as they will show a medical certificate that states that uh, they have a certain medical condition that prevents them from being vaccinated, then they will be exempted. Okay. At pangalawa, let's say unvaccinated, pero meron silang proof of essential travel. Halimbawa, kailangan silang magbiyahe because they have to go through a medical procedure mm -hmm. at meron namang doctor certificate no? at hindi sila vaccinated. That falls under the uh, classification, uh, Ricky and Raul, mm -hmm. as being a uh, form of essential travel, then uh, that will be allowed by Philippine Airlines. Mm -hmm. okay. yung, yung palang ano, yung, yung na. nabanggit kasi kanina, yung nakabook na, uh, yung may oh, ticket na. Yung may ticket. Oo, oh, oh. tapos naka, ang biyahe nila, eh, papatak ngayon, nalimbawa, Monday to yung patas. Eh, paano mangyayari na hindi na sila pasasakayin? Alright, kung hindi sila vaccinated at wala rin silang prueba, that they are going to the domestic destination for essential reasons, mm -hmm. so wala silang mapapakita na proof. Wala rin silang makapapakita na proof that they're going to the domestic destination for a medical procedure. Meron mm -hmm. rin po tayong guidance, no? passenger handling guidance, mm -hmm. sa mga sitwasyon na ganon. So, uh, we will uh, uh, waive no? the uh, rebooking fee for passengers uh, who are affected by this force majeure mm. uh, situation because mm. hindi naman nila kasalanan, hindi rin nakasalanan ng PAL. So this is a government initiated, kumbaga, force majeure and we are complying. So it is not the fault of PAL, not the fault of the passengers na nangyari ito. So we have a handling guidance uh, with regards to situations like this. Mm. Kaya napakahalaga ng tanong mo, yung critical, yung may hawak na na ticket, hindi ba? Mm. Kasi uh, makaka-apekto eh. sa kanilang sa kanika nilang mga flights. Yun. Mas di ba ma yun? tatlo ang dapat mong ipakita sa PAL ngayon. Yung una, yung proof of identification mo, ID, government ID yan. Di ba? Yung vaccination card mo kung vaccinated ka. Mm -hmm. At definitely, yung uh, requirement ng LGU. That's correct. Yung galing Ayun. mo talaga, Ricky. <laughs> Hindi pa. Yes, that's correct. Kasi Alam minsan, mo talaga, uh, Alam mo naman, ibang kababayan natin, magwa-wise up dyan sa point of sale, eh. Di ba? Kasabihin nila, ay di, ito lang kailangan. Pero tama yan. So, dapat ipaalala natin yun. Tatlo yung dapat na dokumento. No? But you know, Ricky, uh, yes po. may mga nuances across LGU. Salimbawa, uh, just recently, no, uh, ang mga LGU katulad ng Katiklan, Iloilo, at mm. Pakolod, mm. whether you are vaccinated or not, kailangan mo magpakita ng negative RT-PCR test before your departure for the LGUs. So, the, sa Manila check-in counter, dapat mong magpakita ng prueba. Pero sa ibang mga LGUs, kapag vaccin fully vaccinated ka na, just your vaccination card, kapag, an kapag hindi ka... So, yun. So, doon na tayo, doon na pumapasok yung mga nuances. Basta yung common thread, the commonality across all LGUs would be the uh, proof of uh, vaccination. Mm -hmm. So, kailangan i-check. Yung additional requirements will depend on the ever-changing requirements of the LGU. Now, to make it easier, meron po tayong uh, detalye hindi sa travel rules and regulations sa www.philippinearlines.com or bumisita sa website ng inyong LGU. Klarong-klaro okay. naman at kompletos-rekados ang impormasyon. Okay.